Und wie kommen wir dort hin? Und wie sind wir mal hingekommen? So. Wenn ich direkt zu einem Baum wäre. So, hops, hops. Wenn zurück ins Tal, ins Schwarztal. Waren wir da nicht schon? Jetzt da noch was. herkommt. Hier waren wir schon. Okay. Hm. Schläfer und Einschläfer und das ist auch irgendwie in gewisser Weise das ist ein ruhiges Game. Mist. Also ich würde doch eigentlich sagen, wir müssen zurück zum Baum. Und wie wir da auch immer hinfinden. Ohne Orientierung und ohne Hinweis. Zum Baum, 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 auf zum Baum, Baum, Baum. Ja, was leuchtest du denn dahin? Da waren wir ja schon. Du bist zum Baum. So ein Baum auf die Lichtung. war es, dass ich vorhin mussten. Müsste man nur noch, müsste man nur mal finden. Ich bin euch hier ein vom PC. Sich ruhigen, entspannten, spielen nur selten. ein gutes Video zum vom Schlafen gehen. Gutes Projekt, wenn ihr schlafen gehen wollt und das <lacht> was zwar einschlafen braucht. Am Abend. Vielleicht dort. Dass die Stelle jetzt auch markiert. Das ist doch unser Baum. Das sehe ich doch schon. Der erste Baum. Aha. Da ist der Weg jetzt nicht mehr länger, nicht mehr länger versperrt. Die Wurzeln sind überrinnsbar geworden.
Und schön lang. Perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed. Like ist das ein Wolf? My dad is dead. And he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that will probably never schaut. be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything. The wolf in the Wir werden unseren Freund rechnen. Oder unseren Vater oder was auch immer das darstellen soll. Wundervolle Musik, wie ich finde. Da wollen wir hier an den Stern vorbei hüpfen. 59. Müssen wir zurück uns noch einholen. Und hoffen, dass jetzt gleich noch einer kommt für uns. Ein Stern. Den Fuchs haben wir aus den Augen verloren. Äh, den Wolf haben wir aus den Augen verloren. Der ist weg. Und der Wolf hat den Fuchs gerissen. Ich mit Sprungattacken angreifen. Das ist mein Busch. Sehr schön. Schauen. Da sind wir hergekommen. Wundervoll. Oh, ich sehe schnell nicht. Da werden wir hin müssen. Was ist denn das dort am Himmel? Ein dieses Gebirge wahrscheinlich. Wie es ausschaut. I need to go to bed. I just can't talk about this anymore. Good night. Good night. It's over yet, or what? Then the bear can't go no more up. Haben wir es vielleicht schon geschafft? In einer knappen Stunde steht es jetzt. Sieht fast so aus. Dann nochmal die Pfoten. Im Wasser. Wo sind wir hier? Joseph, ich kann nicht mehr zu den Beinen. 
zum Stern. I'm sorry for everything and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? Ab zum großen Stern. Da mal jemals hinkommen. Das da hinten sieht doch interessant aus. Ein Hirschhuhn oder was? Du wirst dem Sternwald nachgejagt. Ich das nicht mitbekommen. Watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. Okay. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds, and it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I think we both have always loved animals, and for me that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way, except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried dog biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. I summoned courage I didn't know I had. And I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. With the wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat. I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly and that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. You have strength, Joseph, and you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. Just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. 